Martina. Blair. Bridget. In this video, we are going to show you how to carry out a vacuum filtration. Vacuum filtration is a special type of filtration where a liquid is drawn through a filter by applying vacuum. This is generally used to collect a solid product. Here's the equipment you'll need to carry out this filtration. This is a Büchner flask, sometimes called vacuum flask. You will also need a clamp and vacuum hose, which usually has thick walls and is not very flexible. Securely clamp the flask to the workbench or a retort stand. Connect the vacuum hose to the short tube on the flask. Connect the other end of the hose to a vacuum source, which will generally be a vacuum tap or an aspirator. To carry out the vacuum filtration, you will also need a Büchner funnel and filter paper. As the Büchner funnels come in different sizes, you must check that you are using the right size of filter paper for your funnel. The filter paper should fit snugly on the bottom of the funnel, covering all of the holes. To create a vacuum seal with a Büchner flask, you must fit a rubber cone to the bottom of the Büchner funnel. Insert the Büchner funnel into the mouth of the Büchner flask. This fit may initially be loose, but as the vacuum is applied, the seal will form. Add the correct size filter paper. Turn on the vacuum. Wet the filter paper with the fluid you're filtering to ensure the filter paper sits in the correct position. Here we are using distilled water. Immediately pour the fluid into the Büchner funnel. The crude product has been collected in the funnel. Often there are soluble impurities still attached to the solid, so the product may need to be washed to remove these. Remove the vacuum hose. Add your washing liquid to the funnel and mix the product with the liquid. Reapply the vacuum to the Büchner flask and smooth out the solid in the funnel. Generally, the effect of washing is not obvious, but in this example, the impurities are a different color to the product, so the effect of washing can be clearly seen. Now we have a finished product ready for collection. This can either be removed on the filter paper or, if left to dry, can be scraped off the filter paper.